Hi, and welcome to Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Nick Johansson with your top stories from this past week. Smoke continued to fill the skies of BC this week, as smoke from the hundreds of fires burning in the United States made its way north. The smoke impacted the entire southern half of the province, making Vancouver's air quality the worst in the entire world on some days. After sitting over southern BC for the entire week, the smoke finally began to dissipate into the weekend. Friday, a convoy of more than 200 BC firefighters crossed the border, en route to Oregon to help their American counterparts fight their fires. A tough situation ended with a happy ending this week, when a local firefighter whose truck was stolen while he fought the Mount Christie wildfire last month was given a free truck by Penticton Toyota. Connor Callahan's 2003 Toyota Tundra was stolen in merit, while he worked several overnight shifts during the beginning of the Penticton wildfire. The truck had been in Callahan's family since it was new. But this week, as a show of thanks, Penticton Toyota gave Callahan a 2010 Tundra. This is, this is insane though to be given a truck like this. this is, I couldn't, couldn't ask for a better outcome really. This is, this is hands down one of the coolest things we've ever been involved with and I'm, 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 I'm super happy for, for Connor and, and that we got to be a part of it. Sun Peaks officially sold out of their season passes this week after the resort put limits on their passes this year as a COVID-19 measure to limit the number of skiers and boarders on the hill at one time. The pass has sold out just nine days after the resort announced the limit. Meanwhile, Big White and Silver Star have announced their own COVID plan for the coming season, but the two resorts are not planning on limiting season pass numbers. A Surrey man who killed his partner in a West Kelowna hotel room using a wine bottle was sentenced this week to life in prison, with no chance of parole for 12 years. Tejwant Danju was arrested in July 2018, after Rama Guaravarapu was found beaten to death in her room at the Best Western Hotel. The 71-year-old Danju had argued he had never meant to kill Guaravarapu, claiming he suffered from a delusional disorder. Guaravarapu was remembered as a loving mother, friend and colleague. A convoy of farmers rolled their tractors down to Penticton City Hall Tuesday to protest a proposed 320 home development on the Naramata bench. About 100 people rolled into the downtown core with signs reading, Save the Bench and Leave It As It Is. To everybody here at City Hall, that we don't like this project. Do you think you got that message? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. That's it for this week's Week in Review. For Castanet News, I'm Nick Johansson.